As you know, the Scottish government has adopted a phased framework for leading the nation out of lockdown and back into something approximating normal life. Now, as a church, this raises questions for us regarding when we will be able to regather. Now, the short answer is that we don't know. The longer answer is that we will regather for sure at some point in the future. Now, over the past few weeks, I've been meeting with our ministry team leaders, connect group leaders, our elders, trustees, and discussing various plans and options regarding what it might look like for us to regather when the time comes. So I just want to mention a few of the key ideas that are shaping and informing our approach to this. First of all, the good news, the big thing to keep in mind is that we will regather. Getting back together is an inevitability, not a possibility. Second, it's not mainly up to us. We're constrained by several factors. We're constrained by Scottish government guidance regarding what we can do when. We're also constrained by West Lothian Council and when they may reinstate our let. Finally, we're constrained by health and safety considerations as we're committed to creating a safe worship environment. Third, regathering will be a process, not an event. That is, we anticipate a phased regathering, and exactly what this looks like will depend on what we're able to do when. We'll begin by gathering our presentation team, our worship team, and host, and preacher, and then as it's time, we'll get our ministry team leaders and others together to ensure that before we open up for the public, we're able to do church in a safe, healthy, and effective way. Fourth, when we do regather, things will be different. Just like every other part of life, social distancing and hygiene requirements will require the way that we do church to change. Some things like crash may not be on offer when we're first able to regather. Fifth, in the not too distant future, up to three families will be able to gather indoors. This means that you'll be able to join up with others to watch our Sunday worship gathering together. And so regathering will begin with smaller groups of people getting together on Sundays. And finally, we will continue to offer online church for the foreseeable future even once we do begin the process of regathering. Now, I know that many of you are like me, and one of the most difficult parts of this coronavirus-induced lockdown has been not being able to be together as family. We are the Church of Jesus, and yes, we are one in spirit, but yet there's an expression of who we are as God's people that's only visible and experienced when we're together. The good news is we will be getting back together. Not yet, but that day will come. So please be patient as we wait for that day. Now, two other things I'll mention briefly in closing. One is that we will be revisiting our framework and adjusting this and clarifying it as the Scottish government gives more guidance along the way. So every few weeks, we will be looking at what we can do and seeing what's possible at that time. The last thing is simply this. I will be communicating to the church via email uh, regarding this framework so that you will have access to some more details and you'll know what we're thinking about when we might be able to get these things done. So whenever it is that we can regather, I look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, keep joining us here at Centerpoint Online every Sunday morning. God bless you.